mean, I'm part of a team that actually gets things done rather than shouting from the sidelines, which is uh, about all UKIP's got to offer. Um, do they want a proper local MP committed to them or do they want a part-timer? I mean, that's the decision they've got to make here. And in me, they've got a uh, conservative part of the team that's delivered for not only South Thanet, but for the rest of the country. Uh, with our manifesto launched today, more good news, particularly for South Thanet in terms of uh, houses to buy, taking people out of tax. I mean, this is a stark choice. This is a seat we need to win if people want a Conservative majority government. And that's why I'm finding so, so hard to get that uh, as a reality in just a few days' time. I cool. love him. I think he's wonderful. It'd be great if he gets in. He'd be an addition to Parliament. Right. Um, well, we better get him delivering. Well, we we'll know, be able to shout on the side. No, yeah. but he's, he's good. Well, I need you back <laughs> because you know, I, I want to be all over that thing because I'm going to be here. Well, I don't think it's unusually uh, more than many other sort of key seats, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we're, we're one of those seats that we are. We have to hold to be able to form a government, and that's all we're seeing down here. Are you expecting to get near? I am expecting to win. This is a very heavily UKIP area. We know why. Um, well, and I'm guessing he's going to get in. He won't get in. I, I can tell you that because the polls say he's not going to. It's softening all over the country, and I've knocked on 20,000 doors, so I know what people are thinking. <laughs> I'm saying to them, you know, have a reality check. If you're concerned about the European Union, who's going to actually give you that referendum? It's only us, nobody else. Labour Party have ruled it out, and UKIP, again, can shout from the sidelines, but they won't actually be able to deliver that. So this is a reality check, a party that actually delivers things with answers rather than just you know, spreading anger. A referendum on the EU we have today, very clearly, I'll be voting out. So you're not a natural Conservative voter? No. Thinking about us? Are we on your, on um, your edge? I'm not sure yet. I'm no. Sure. Definitely not you, kid. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, for obvious But you might have to think what is the best way of keeping it. Of course. Of course. I'm quite, well, I'm very hopeful actually that the, uh, the policy that we have of making the benefit system in Britain one of the toughest in the whole of the EU for migrants will do sufficiently to take the, uh, you know, the, the froth off the numbers. We're being very tough on non-EU immigration and I've got some, you know, I'm very hopeful that these numbers will come down. Who could have expected just five years ago we'd have had Iraq and uh, the Syria issue creating so many asylum seekers. Who could have even expected with the Eurozone going into crisis that you'd have had Spaniards and, and Portuguese and Greeks looking for work here. That was sort of off, you know, not, not expected. So we're doing something about that in response to the new reality of Europe. But doing as long as I have, you know what a letterbox is. You know what it's going to be like to open, how difficult. And when there's a dog, you have to put it in quick and run. <laughs> Around here, I would say it's pension issues, quite a demographic of pensioners, of which we've got the triple lock and all, you know, all the things to actually keep pension benefits at very much where they are. Uh, we hear about schools. And we do have a grammar school system still in place in Kent and very, very well supported. Are you in favour of grammar schools? I was a grammar school boy and I'm very much in favour of it. I would like to see expansion of good grammar schools, yes, no problem with that at all. You know, I will say, though, I mean, immigration does come up from time to time, but it's coming up much, much less than it did six months ago. And, and I can give people the answers that I gave you earlier. And they're quite satisfied that the Conservative Party is a party of, of sensible government that will respond to their concerns with answers.